Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Most Ball, and this video is kind of late. This is from Friday, and I do want to apologize for that. It's just like there's been so much going on in 2K. I've been dropping you guys videos left and right, and honestly, the no money spends just haven't been coming out because like I'm doing other things within the, the couple days, right? Like every day we're getting or grinding the Tuesday packs, the Friday packs, and then I feel like there's no time for a no money spent episode, but I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna try to upload a no money spent every other day so we'll do once every two days and that way we can update what's going on even if like other stuff is happening you feel me because a lot has changed to the team and if you guys aren't familiarizing yourself with what's going on because i know not everyone watches all the videos so that way i can keep you up to date on what's happening with the no money spent how the team is looking and all that a lot of people have been asking me and whatnot but just don't expect them to be as long um, I was trying to aim at 30 minutes to an hour each, like from 30, 45, whatever. Now, if they're 20, whatever it is, at least we're popping them out, pumping them out, all that. You guys can see my current, basically, rep system. This is what we're at. And basically, this video is going to start off with us opening up our Friday Tier 1 thing from Showdown. I've been grinding some Showdown. I finally made it to Tier 1. And yeah, it's been an absolute grind. I've been showing you guys a lot of the games. A lot of the games you guys got to see. We're closing in on this 20-pack box for full throttles, which maybe something happened. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll talk to you guys near the end. Yo, yo, yo. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Most Ballin' and we finally hit tier one and got our weekly prize. Last week I was in tier two. I couldn't finish up the job, man. I failed. I failed my city. I failed you guys. So we're here now in tier one and we should theoretically be going ahead and picking our thingy majig, right? We can take the uh, sellable ones or the unsellable ones. You guys should know what I want, what I'm taking. You should understand that already. But before I do that, there's one thing we have to note, and that's badge prices. I said I would kind of understand them a little bit better, and I have. I definitely know my badge prices a lot, lot better. But one thing I really want to know is to be perfect. You got to be perfect when it comes to making MT, right? You got to. So what we're going to do is we're just going to check really fast to know what's the most expensive badges in the game, right? Just the most expensive for each tier really, really fast. I kind of already have the basis. There's only 40 badges this year, so it's easy to kind of keep up, which is a perfect thing to do. It's actually really easy to keep up. Look, I already know these badges aren't worth it, like Aerial Wizard, so I'm just going to quickly go through it. But basically what I'm going to do is just try to understand which one of these I should be picking if it pops up. You're not going to only see which the top three are because it is an option pack, and there's a high percentage chance you don't see any of those options so bailout i see one kind of cheap so i'm already like not really thinking about it 1500 is not it i'm looking for like the top 10 badges so if i don't get a choice for the ones that i know because sometimes you might not see the one you know you want to know what everything is at everything kind of vibing at and it's good to double check i know which badges are needed today for the new drop it is friday tomorrow is king of the court so i know badge prices are gonna skyrocket i really know like the top five badges off the top of my head but i just i'm worried i don't get any of those so i just need to be on top of everything you feel me i just need to be a thousand percent sure and this is something you guys should do this is where you're gonna make money from these boxes just knowing which badges to go with even if you're not gonna sell them just having an idea of what's going where so challenger i already know that's a top tier badge if i see a challenger i'm most likely taking that no matter the color we see that off rip so we know that right is the bronze one not the best but it's definitely probably going to be one of the top 10 in my opinion i would say dead eye is usually around there too it's going to be in the top 10 i don't think it's the best but it'll, it'll be in the lower tier if i don't see the top top dogs but we see where dead eye is going at right now the the main ones right now i think dimer is going up today for sure a lot of the cars that are dropping all the point guards are missing dimer that dropped today so i don't really expect people not to be putting it on them i bought a couple of them for 500 this week i was saying that was something i was going to invest in a little bit i'm going to skip over float game we'll go straight to glove i'm just going to do this really fast i know there's people in my stream wanting to talk to me asking me questions and i apologize i'm not with you guys i just want to be 100 percent certain before i go into things and honestly i think i am certain i think i'm good I think we're good, right? I, I We know where it's at. It's Immovable Enforcer, right? Immovable Enforcer you want to be on top of. That's one. Interceptor, not the bronze one, but the other one should be a little bit higher, especially the gold one. The gold one should be going for a lot. A lot of guys are missing gold. Yeah, Limitless is always a safe bet. 
it's a safe bet, right? It's always going to have some value. But then the ones you really want to go with is obviously on ball menace. If you see an on ball menace, you take that instantly. That's just guaranteed, no questions asked. Then this is where I was wondering. So, Paint Patroller, I was curious if it was going up today. Uh, some of them might. A couple guys are missing that. Physical Finisher, looks like it's gold is going to go up for sure. I was thinking that. I literally made a whole sheet. I tweeted it out of all the things that are missing. Pick Dodger is missing on a lot of guys. I knew Pick Dodger was going to be up. So, Pick Dodger seems like a good move right now if I see it. All right. I think we're good. I think I should be good. Rise up should be okay. No, I thought the gold would be a little bit more. There's a couple guys missing it. But I feel like rise up you get from a lot of different things. Like you just be pulling that. It's one of those easier badges. And I feel like strong handle is going to be up there. So it should be going up the gold one, I would assume, with how many people are missing it. And definitely unpluckable. If I see an unpluckable gold, I'm taking that. Guaranteed. All right. So now that I know all that, now that I'm aware of what's going on with my surroundings, I'm just going to go ahead and take the unsellable option one. Why? Because I'm not going to do anything with the 80 plus and 84 plus. I'm just being honest with you guys. All these series one cards, you can sell them, yes. But at the end of the day, how much am I going to really sell them for? This, all the badges are going to be sellable regardless that I pull everywhere. Now I'm getting more packs, aka more chances of badges. My coach is still sellable. My, my, all this is all sellable. It's just the players that aren't. And I genuinely don't care about players. You feel me? It, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, in my opinion. That's just my theory. That's my thought process. So let's go ahead and open that 31 packs, baby, 31 packs. Let's go ahead and open our daily first so we could lead the day off, right? Come on, can I get a non-series one player, all right? One non-series one to start us off fire. I don't have a quiet, I'll take it, actually. That's perfect. That's give me energy. Give me mojo. Give me mojo. That's what I want. If I'm getting a series one player, I don't know who I want. I'm trying to think. Tony Bennett. I was thinking if you want to give me a Devin Booker, I'll take it. A Steph, I'll take it. I definitely want Giannis. That's the only Series 1 card I definitely want out there. But I'm cool with not pulling anything. Player-wise, I really genuinely do not care. I'm here for the badges. I'm here for hopefully a Ruby coach. That would be clutch. Definitely be clutch. We're looking at the other stuff that's being pulled. I told you guys, everything else is sellable except the player. The only thing you cannot sell is the player. And that's fine because... The quick sell value is not that far off from the actual value. So why would I give a damn? That's what I'm trying to say. You get me? I hope you guys are understanding my point of view. You're all entitled to your point of view and what you do. It sucks I have most of these cards, so I'm not even going to be able to swap them. I'm not expecting anything from them. I like getting multiple cards. I'm hoping some of them are new so I can lock them in and get closer to a 10K. And we did get an Ami. Let's go. Now, I do have most of the Series 1 Amis. I have LeBron, I have AD, I have, I, I can't even think right now, but I don't have Giannis, I don't have Steph, I don't have Booker. Those are the ones that come to mind. Western Conference, draw foul 89 is tough, and it's Luka Doncic, who I do have, so that's going to be a quick sell. It's okay, I'm not stressing it. Yeah, that, if I would have pulled that in a sellable, that's dope, but what is the chances of me pulling that in a sellable, right? Where we're not going to sit here and lie and say I would have pulled that with less packs. You feel me? And we got Jerry Stackhouse. That's nice. Nice. A little gem of the game action off that. That's cute. I would love more of those. I definitely would. We got a little bronze dimer. That's a little bit of MT. Even if I sell it for six, seven hundred, I'm perfectly fine with that. Who is my boy Nicola? So many Nicolas in the league nowadays, bro. And every player in the league called Nicola. You feel me? Obi Toppin and Chris Middleton. I'm gonna name my son Nicola. He's guaranteed to go to the league, it seems like. And you guys think. I can pull something higher than an 87 plus in that pack. The 87 plus pack? You think we could get a 90 plus? That would be really hard, man. That would be fuego fire. And we're not looking too good, ladies and gentlemen. Not looking too good. I'm kidding. I obviously do not care. I'm just opening these at this point. This is what we get for getting to Series 1. We'll be talking to you guys about everything you get overall, which tier you should stop at. I'll tell you guys all the rewards in all the tiers. We got a ruby from the gem of the game, and it's nice. That's actually not bad. Marcus Morris Sr., not bad. Another gem of the game. Let's get some heat in this one. It's a gold. It's crazy. So that ruby one was not a bad pull. -up. I don't know if they're... What, what is the guaranteedness of these in the world? Ron Riley. Ron Riley, this is the hidden gem one. Please, Amy! <sighs> Would have been nice. It's all good. Yo, Muggsy is probably the worst possible case scenario ever in the world. And it's okay. It's okay. It's, it doesn't matter. I wasn't expecting anything from there. It would have been nice if it was someone that could play. I hate this takeover stuff. 
it takes too long the shoes take too long y'all gotta figure out this situation make it go faster can i skip through this that would be nice i wonder if you could flip all the now nah, you can't i was gonna say if you could quick flip the whole box that would be crazy it'll show you like endless pages of just everything that just got pulled in the whole world and you're just looking at five billion cards and you're like what did i really pull and then it takes away from the excitement of me pulling an amy that i already had you feel me i, I wanted that excitement of pulling an amy i already had here we go ruby 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 oh that's disgusting that's disgusting bro i can't take you doko or else that looks like um I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cheat on my wife. That's what I feel. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Playbooks. I'll take whatever you give me. I don't even have room for any of this stuff in our collection, in our auction house. I should have chucked everything up for 250, 300. And I'll play it. All right. Pick five is beautiful. You already know I take red shoes, orange shoes. Any color that stands out is a color I want. I don't know what color those converse. They're probably white. I'll take some steps. Why not? And then I guess we take the new balance and take the red shoes. Always red. Anything red, people like. I like red. You like red. We don't really, but they stand out. I need shoes that stand out. And this is where we pay attention. I think I'm taking set shot out of right now. Launch, not bad. And I didn't get any of the top tiers, man. Off ball pest is good. We'll take off ball pest. I have two options at off ball. Lightning launch looking good. Set shooter looking good. Those are what I see that I'm literally looking at. And I'm like, okay. We have an opportunity. What I could do is I look at what badges are missing today so I can have an idea of what I think is gonna go up 100% even if it's later on when more people pull the cards. And in that case, I would look at maybe Glove. Glove, I could see that going up because Spider is missing that, for example, right? And then from there, Slippery Off Ball is missing on a couple people, right, overall. So Slippery Off Ball, I could definitely see that moving up. And Off Ball Pest is one of those badges everybody needs and everybody's missing. So the question is, do I want multiple of the same ones? Or do I want to switch it up just in case? You can't go wrong with Lightning Launch either. So it really just comes down to what you want. Ideally, what I want to do is make a list of like the most expensive badges in general and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take one of each so i can't go wrong right i'll take a slippery or off ball a glove just in case i feel like those are safe ones that way like depending on what prices go where i have one of each type vibes here we're gonna do somewhat similar i like my dimers but i think i'm gonna take similar ones unless i see what i'm looking for with unpluckable will take do they miss silver unpluckables or it's just gold it seems like it's just golds. No one's really missing silver. So I wouldn't even have to really worry about that. But I mean, PG's missing on pluckable in general if someone wants to add that. You feel me? And I guess we'll take lightning launch on this. Here we're taking challenger. Nice. We got a challenger badge. I see a limitless as well. I see an interceptor. What are the bronze badges being missing right now? So Challenger, I think, is one of the better ones to take for sure. I think I take Interceptor. A lot of guys that drop today are missing Interceptor. And then from there, that's what I'm basing it off of. I'm basing it on what people are missing today. And I'm guessing Limitless is one of those badges being missed today. So we'll take that. So basically, I was only able to swap one player. Everyone else is going to get sold when it comes to players. So I'm going to go ahead and sell the players fast so I can keep the rest of my stuff in auction so I could sell any duplicates, stuff like that. I want to get rid of the dupes fast, obviously. The faster I get rid of them, the faster I have space for my badges that I want to sell, right? That's the most important thing. And overall, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Now, let's discuss the team a little bit because if you're not up to date, the team has changed drastically. This isn't even the team that I was using on Friday to reach tier one at all. This is not even close to the team. I was still running Chris Paul at the time. We picked up Victor Oladipo. I bought him for around 200K. I think he was 194. His price has skyrocketed since, which is a great thing. I'm probably gonna sell him back. I'll explain in a little bit. There is a problem with the auction house. That's another thing we need to explain and address in a little bit as well. I actually have that shirt. Like I have the shirt of that jersey that he's wearing. So that's really dope. I feel connected to the Brody. It's, uh, it's in the States and I'm currently in Egypt, obviously, so that's why I can't wear it. Shout out to Andrew Wiggins. He's been a great pickup for us as well. I bought Andrew Wiggins for 200 on the dot, I believe, if I'm correct. One of them was 194. The other one was 200. I think he was the 200. This is probably my favorite card in the game right now. He's been so fun. 
He's been so enjoyable. Between the two of them, they're both great. And the third person that I must add to my top three trio, my favorite three cards in the game right now, is Mr. Al Harrington. Yes, barbecue buckets, baby. Barbecue buckets. They've all played over 100 games already. We'll discuss that more in the future. 131 for Vic. My boy Wiggins got 110. And Al Harrington got a tough 124 on him this dude's been playing games non-stop as well he's already hit 200 this is the free card we got from playing triple threat park over that one weekend that was like two weekends ago we pulled mr kenyon martin i'm definitely selling this card no doubt about it shout out to kenyon i love the jersey that was my favorite team growing up but it just right now at this moment it's all about keeping your mt safe not letting it drop too much all these cards are going to drop no doubt within the next week like not within but next week in general next week expect super packs to drop if you guys aren't too familiar with what super packs are that's when 2k drops like the big packs of the season that's when it has everything in there the odds probably aren't going to be the greatest but people do pull them it's vc only so what ends up happening is people spend real money they pull those cards they throw them on the auction house all those cards there's just more of them there's a lot more going on so a lot of the prices just end up dropping plus season two is right around the corner we got a couple days left probably like 10 total nine it says it up top nine days left so we should be expecting that so that means sangoon is on the trade block as well very soon i'm gonna probably get rid of him he's at 122 the reasons i haven't started selling them yet because i have basically a lot of players i want to sell right we got sangoon we got harrington Wiggins, Owa Depot, and Kenyon, they all are worth a good amount of money. I can't sell any of the other guys. These guys are unsellable. We got these as rewards, more or less. We just got Eddie Jones from Park Event as well. I love this card. I'm like literally falling in love with him. This is one of my favorite cards. I ended up pulling uh, Austin Rivers from the barbecue buckets from Park, that 10 game winning streak. If you guys didn't see that video yesterday, so the Rivers I originally had, I ended up selling. So I really want to keep as many unsellable cards on the team as possible and then slowly start getting rid of the rest. That way we can keep up our MT. We don't want it to drop too much because it becomes a problem when you lose MT. So if we take a look, we'll see that Kenyon is going for over 100. Hopefully he stays that way. I'm going to wait a little maybe till they're out of packs. Maybe not. We'll see. Probably not. But Victor right now is at a really high price, which is nice. I think the auction house is currently broken. People are not able to take their MT back when they bid on something and don't win it. They're waiting a pending period. I don't know if 2K means to do that or it's an error right now. So do not try to bid on something unless you're positive you're going to win it or whatnot. Otherwise, you're going to be maybe losing some money. Putting up cards right now is risky, not knowing what's happening. Because if people are bidding and having to wait, and not getting it back right away it's gonna be less empty in the market so when it's time to buy a card no one has the empty they're waiting 30 minutes and now cards are ending for a lot lot less so maybe it's a great time to snipe bid snipe i should say it might be but just keep it in mind overall that super packs are on the way i've been keeping that in the back of my mind all the time i know i want to throw up shangun for example i want to throw up my al harrington most likely as long as i can get most of my empty back because if they drop in price and as season two rolls around, I can always buy them back and hopefully like keep my MT where it was at. I needed these cards at the moment for whatever it is, whether it was King of the Court, whether it was like literally so many possibilities we, we needed these cards. And that's the reason I'm holding on to them right now. I do want to make a quick push in showdown. I need 20 wins for the next prize, right? Because it, it goes three wins and then it pushes to seven then it goes 15 then 20 for the top prizes and then we get to pick again so i want to get to 20 wins it will also help us out here i'll be at 104 towards the boxes and then when we're at 104 guess what the net there's one more week for the season so i'll be able to knock it out so i think i still want my team for that there's a possibility for that as well as i was using shangun for salary cap but now that I'm done with that, I would have thrown him up. But like I said, the auction house little situation is a reason I'm not. I hope you guys are caught up with the videos. I hope you guys been watching whatnot. I'm going to make a new rep video for sure. I learned so much more, like so much more since I don't know if you guys really, really want it. I can make it happen when we hit 50%. Otherwise, I'm going to wait till I hit diamonds. But if you want it ASAP, make sure you like the video up and let me know. Make sure you guys are subscribed. 
I really don't understand why some people watch and aren't subscribed. It's like a 50% ratio of people who are and who aren't. So that's always weird to me. If you made it this far, I appreciate you with all my heart. Uh, I think I'm just going to end the video right here for right now. We, we still have a lot of stuff to do. I dropped my greatest era box that we got from challenges. I would drop that video. Those are the easiest challenges we've ever gotten so far for that. Uh, if there's any other videos you guys want, I know people have been asking me for some breakout videos like uh, explaining how to beat that team again and I, I can make you guys an updated version pretty much the easiest run around how to always win and break out I'm still been playing that mode I haven't really I've gotten a couple good things so I will show you guys that in the next no money spot for sure well uh, we'll be popping them out like I said so I'll see you guys soon it's been your boy most y'all know the drill and balling out